Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the X chromosome inactivation. And this is also sort of related to another topic, which is called the dosage compensation of the X chromosome. Now, to give you an overview, we all know that the human female has got two X chromosome, whereas the human male has got one X chromosome and the other Y chromosome. Now, this Y chromosome, this is very important in determining the characteristics or the sexual characteristics of a male, because this Y chromosome has got a region called the SRY gene. This SRY gene secretes a factor which is called the testis determining factor. And this testis determining factor, it helps in development of the Sertoli cells the Sertoli cells in turn secretes something called the anti-Mullerian hormone. Now, this anti-Mullerian hormone, what it does, uh, basically the Mullerian duct that is present, Mullerian duct, this is supposed to be the default path of the Mullerian duct is is that it should form the female genitalia but the anti-Mullerian hormone as the name suggests I mean it inhibits the Mullerian duct from forming the female genitalia and in turn the Mullerian duct is converted into the male genitalia and that is how the development of the sexual characters of the male develops. So this is how the Y gene sort of helps in the development of the male characters. Now since the female has got two X chromosome and the male has got one X chromosome these two X chromosome one of the X chromosome needs to be compensated because um, if both the X chromosomes are, if both the X chromosomes, both the genes in the X chromosomes are uh, expressed, then this condition leads to something called a super female. And this is not the condition for a normal female. That is why one of the X chromosome needs to be uh, suppressed or needs to be compensated for. So if these are if these two are the X chromosome, then there is a region in both of the X chromosome, which is called the XIC region. Now this XIC region, this stands for X inactivation center. This X inactivation center, it secretes a couple of factors, uh, one of which is the XI S T. This XIST it stands for X inactive specific transcript. So this X inactive specific transcript, as the name suggests, what it does, it inactivates the X chromosome. Now it is a chance factor that one of the one of the X chromosome would secrete more XIST and one will secrete less XIST. Now, when that happens, the chromosome that is secreting more XIST, that X chromosome is going to be inhibited or suppressed by its own XIST expression. And how does the XIST suppresses the X chromosome? The XIST basically it inactivates by histone methylation. Um, if we look at a molecular level, the DNA packaging is done by proteins called histone. And this histone plays a very important role when the DNA is wrapping around and Several of the histone residues, they need to be methylated and demethylated in order, in order for the proper remodeling of the DNA. So if the histones are not demethylated properly, then the chromosome remodeling is not proper. And XIST is working on that to suppress the X chromosome from which it is being expressed. But 
one question to derive that this XIST should also suppress this X chromosome as well because it is in its close vicinity. But this does not happen. Um, this XIC, this XIC center, this also secretes another factor which is called the T6 gene. Now this T6 gene, this is basically the uh, reverse of the XIST. Now if you write XIST, if you spell it from this way, that is T S I X. So that is T6 gene. So T6 gene is the antisense of the XIST gene. So let me write it down. Antisense of XIST. Now, since it is an antisense, it is uh, producing an antisense RNA. It is producing an antisense RNA of XIST. Uh, what it does, this antisense RNA, it would go to the it would bind to the XIST that is being secreted in a large amount from the other X chromosome and it is going to inhibit the expression uh, from I mean it is it is going to it is it is going to prevent it from binding to the histones on the other on the other X chromosome that is the X the T6 gene from this chromosome it is preventing the XIST, which is being secreted in large amount from the other chromosome, from binding to the histones and methylating them. So that is why this X chromosome is active and this X chromosome automatically becomes inactive. So that was a quick overview of the X chromosome inactivation and how the T6 and the XIST gene is working together in dosage compensation of the X chromosome in females. So that was it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and share it with someone who would need to watch it. And until the next time.